In a parallel universe, it's only allowed to have fun and eat candy. No one there ever reads or studies. Mrs. Relum came back home after a day-long snowball fight and a sauna with her friends. Her three daughters spent a fun day at home. She asked them what they were doing. Hannah said, I was doing a puzzle. Elle said, I was at my friends. We built a snowman. Ava said, I just stayed in bed, watched movies, and drank hot chocolate. Still, Mrs. Relum could tell that one of her daughters lied. Who was it? It was Hannah. Take a closer look at her puzzle. She barely started it. There are three snowmen standing in Allie's backyard. Which one of them is fake? It's this one. The sun is shining, and it's the only one that's not melting. Allie is participating in a winter quiz. Whoever wins gets a brand new skateboard, and she really wants it. Can you help her answer the questions? Here's the first one. What do you call a disrespectful reindeer? Rudolph, derived from rude, got it? What kind of photos do elves take? Elfies, of course. Santa and his reindeer went swimming. Where did they go? To the swimming pool. Meanwhile, a bunch of snowmen went dancing. Where did they go? To a snowball. During the winter holidays, everyone gets presents. What did a cow get? It got a calculator. How many of these did you get right? Would you manage to get a snowboard if you were Allie? I hope so. Those weren't easy. Now let's test your attention with a couple of short riddles. Here are the rooms of two flatmates, Jack and George. Take a closer room and tell. Which one of them has a girlfriend? It's Jack. Look, there's a picture of the two of them on his wall. Okay, now let's take a look at these two flatmates. Both are girls. Which one of them has a boyfriend? My bet is the girl who lives in this room. Look, she has two cups on the table. An anonymous note was sent to the police, reporting that one of the students wasn't a real person, but a robot in disguise. There was a picture of a class, and the person must be in the picture. Who seems suspicious to you? Look, there are some electrical sparks around this person. Can you now find a robot in this photo? Look at this guy's footprints. They're wheel footprints. He should be a robot. Okay, now this is a hard one. Who's a robot here? It's this woman, the only one who's not sweating on this hot summer day. Also, there's an on-off switch on her neck. Charles woke up in a small room. He didn't know what happened, but there was a door. 
Unfortunately, it was locked, but there were three buttons. On one button, there was a circle. On the second one, there was a rhombus. On the third one, there was a square. And there was also a sign saying 12, 3, 6, 9. Which button should he press to get out? The clock right above the door is there for a reason. If you draw lines connecting 12, 3, 6, and 9, you will get the shape of a rhombus. So, Charles should press the button with the rhombus on it. Mr. Jones lives alone, and he left for Massachusetts to spend the winter holidays with his family. When he returned a week later, he noticed a weird detail about his house. What's wrong? Look at the roof of his car. It was definitely showing, but someone shoveled the snow in his front yard. That's weird. During the winter holidays, Vienna got a collection of her favorite book series. She spent a week reading them and left them all over the room. Now that she's done, she has to arrange them nicely on the shelf. She can't find book number six. Take a close look at her room. Can you help her find it? This book seems like it's book number nine, but actually it's book six, just turned upside down. During the winter holidays, a dangerous criminal escaped from a prison in Texas and took a plane to New York. New York police arrested three men that fit the description and asked them where they had arrived from. The first man said that he'd arrived from London. The second man said that he had arrived from Toronto. The third one said that he had arrived from Florida. Who is the criminal? It's the second man. He's underdressed for a person who arrived from cold Canada in winter. He probably arrived from Texas, but lied. Karma is a dog. She's 13 years old. Her owner, Jessica, is 40 years old. Question, how many years ago was Jessica exactly four times Karma's age? It was four years ago when Karma was nine and Jessica was 36. In Santa's house, there are elves working all year long to make presents for kids around the world. 10 elves make 10 plushies in 10 minutes. How much time do 100 elves need to make 100 plushies? If 10 elves make 10 plushies in 10 minutes, then it takes one elf 10 minutes to make one plushie. So, 100 elves will need the same 10 minutes to make 100 plushies. A woman has three sons, David, Cedric, and Philip. She's about to have another son. What do you think she'll name him? Trent, Evan, or George? The woman seems to choose names that start and end with the same letter, so her fourth son's name will likely be Trent. Jane woke up in a dungeon and couldn't remember what had happened to her. She came across a big metal door locked with a passcode. Can you help her figure out the last three digits? 8549176 Look, there are supposed to be 10 digits in total. So far, each one has been used only once, so maybe Jane should use the remaining three digits that haven't been used yet. Zero, two, and three. But in which order? Well, there are just six combinations to try. But look, the other digits are positioned in alphabetical order, and so should these three. So the rest of the passcode is three, two, and zero. Jessica has two pets, a dog Milo and a cat Cairo. When Milo was four years old, Cairo was half his age. Now that Milo is 10 years old, how old is the cat?
When Milo was four, Cairo, who was half his age, was two. It means that there are two years difference between them. If Milo is 10 years old now, then Cairo is eight. Let's check how attentive you are. Now I'll be showing you some photos, and you have to find out what's wrong or odd about them. Here's the first one. What do you say? The colors of the rainbow are inverted. Correct! Here's a new one. Will you notice what's wrong here? Pay attention to the calendar. It says February, but there are 31 days. February has either 28 or 29 days, but never 31. This one is even harder. Keep your eyes wide open. What's the mistake here? Look closer at the calculator. They go from smaller digits on top to bigger ones on the bottom, just like on a smartphone. But calculators have the opposite arrangement. Okay, here's a new one. What's your call? The reflection in the water is wrong. Here's the last one of these. Be attentive. This time, there's a car on the ice skating rink. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.